one of those key subsections I feel like plays a massive role in all of these connections would be stress, would be mental health, would be things that are not actually regarded in this time of confusion and rush and trying to get your Zoom link uh, to work. So could you please, uh, Mr. Ms. Budhika, would you please just give us a small background on how teachers and students, mainly the students, are actually handling all of this stress, all this unknown confusion and of course this pent up feeling. Okay, um, I think before we talk about online education induced stress, we need to look at the conditions they were in before. These children are... Is there any way a stressful environment? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These children born, I would say, mid-2000s to late 2000s. Those are the kids that we have in school. These kids would have known a device from the day they were born for various reasons, like parents giving that device to keep them distracted or reward them for something, you know, prefer uh, a preferred behavior perhaps for eating, you know, <laughs> staying <laughs> calm and not disturbing. Um, whatever the reason, they've grown up with devices and those devices have come in as a tool to keep them, you know, under uh, a desired condition in the household. So if you look at the household condition, we have growing divorce rates. We have a growing number of single parents, domestic violence. We have all these conditions which were already there way before the pandemic. You think a, a, a child whose parents are divorcing are not having stress? That's enormous amount of stress for that child. And then these children also have known social media from the time that they can actually remember. So what does social media do? It, it's uh, 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 a tool where you don't stick to one thing, you just keep scrolling down until you find something even that, you know, the attention span is very, very limited, where you just move on. So you have this situation where these children are connected to the, the rest of the world, but they are so disconnected from those who are around them. It is not just social, but it is also that uh, social setting where the parents might be busy doing their own thing, the siblings might be on a different uh, uh, agenda with their own lives. Now, that stress from the family background, stress from social media, bring the pandemic into the situation. You have all these people confined into one room. You would have aging grandparents, fighting parents, older siblings who might have frustrations over whether it's relationships or jobs or whatever there is. Can you begin to quantify mm -hmm. the amount of stress within that household? Forget online education. So in one sense, online education gives access to the children to see a familiar face, like your teacher, like your friends, you know, a distraction from whatever is going on uh, inside their houses. Because way before online education or the pandemic, me, I, I, I have dealt with children who come to school to get away from home simply because the household is too chaotic. And, and over the last 15 odd years, I've seen how parents react, how children react, and only when the children overreact, you know, they, they show an odd uh, overreaction to something very small and you keep talking to the child, you get to the bottom of, you know, there's a problem at home. So stress has already been there on these children for the longest time. The stress that I can see induced by online education, yes, it can be health related because we have much less physical activity due to the confinement. But you can't say they were not seated when they were in physical school. They were seated for the longest time during lessons in school. But comparatively, you had enough physical activity to counter that, which is now absent from the, the whole setup. But is it anyone's fault? No. It's the crisis, it's how we've adapted. It's something that we need to, as parents, as adults, do some light stretches in the morning as a family. Simple solutions are there if you look for it without trying to blame anybody. Stress is there. We have to find our ways of dealing with it within our households.